Uh, let's talk about uh, podcasting. So you started some little shitbox podcast with uh, Sean, and uh, now it's like number three in business, or I don't know. It's like really high up. Uh, can you tell us that story? Like, where did that come from? <laughs> shitbox. Shit, you like that word? It's called <laughs> My First Million. It, the name is bad, but in a way, it's become good because it's so bad. So Sean came to me. It'll be two years in September, I think. He came to me, and he goes, I, uh, I, rec- I want to launch a podcast for The Hustle. And sh- I've known Sean has been a close friend of mine since 2014, maybe. I've been close with him for a while. Monkey he go- Inferno days. Yeah, for a long time. We've been buddies. And he came. He goes, I got this idea for a podcast. Here's episode one. He already had a pilot. And I listened to it. And I go, in. We're in. And we negotiated the deal. And we started promoting it. And it was just him interviewing people on how they got their first million users, their first million revenue, profit, whatever. Was it like a how I built this knockoff? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it was great. And he was good at it. And then he was like, dude, finding guests are hard. This one guest just canceled. Do you want to just come to the studio and let's just um, brainstorm? Because we did that all the time. We would do this thing called Junto or something where we would meet every two weeks and we would talk about different ideas that we're seeing. And we would have an expert come in and we would deconstruct shit. And it was awesome. People loved it. And he goes, just come and just do that with me. And we did do it. And we've been consistent to the point where now we've been putting out like four a week for like two years. And, or we've not done four a week the whole time. We've done like, it started with one a week and then two. And then, and then we just have, were consistent. And I think Sean has gotten like crazy talented at this podcast. He's really good at it. He didn't start, he started out as good. Now he's great. I thought you were way better in the beginning. I was like, Sam's carrying the show. And now the last couple of times I'm like, mm, I think it might've flipped a little bit. Not well, carrying you, but it's just like, he's really good now. He's really good. I, the thing is, is that I'm working on growing it. And so we have, we have, we made a deal like a, a handful of months ago. I'm like, Hey, let me focus on growing this. And I'm going to like uh, kind of be behind the scenes. Like I'll know what to do to grow it, but I need you to do a lot of the research uh, ahead of time. And so that's, so he gets a lot of the credit. And also I do think he is actually legitimately more talented at it. I mean, he's good. He's good. Yeah. Cause I've known him for a while too, through you. And like, he wasn't that good before he definitely worked, grew at it. It's kind of cool to see. He, it, he's, he's a, the, the thing about Sean is he loves it. So like he's a, he wants to be a teacher. So if you ask him what his life goal is, he's like, I want to teach a billion people. Like he loves it. I don't love it. it to me, it's just a means to an end. Did y'all have a plan back then to do anything or grow? Was there a number or was just like fun? It was kind of like, eh, let's fuck around. Yeah, we both wanted to be number one. So beginning? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, I was like, we didn't, I didn't see, I didn't know how that was going to happen. And we're still not number one. Like, but you know, we're becoming one of the most popular. And in order to be number one, like if we got like a, um, once we cross about a million downloads a month, we'll be bordering on like one of the more listened to a uh, podcast. Um, how does a podcast make money? Does it before it was ads? Now, none of our shit makes money. I mean, trends makes money. So, so, so the hustle owns the podcast and it made mo- someone like Microsoft would buy an ad on the email and some of the ads would go on to the podcast and Sean would get a cut, cut of that money. Now that HubSpot's the only owner. They are our only advertiser and they, um, they, we run HubSpot ads. So t- I guess technically it doesn't make money. But as a subsidiary, it makes money because in a way, HubSpot is buying ads on the podcast, but they own it. So, so they basically fund the whole thing now. They fund the whole thing. But Trends makes money. So Trends funds our whole operation. Hmm. I mean, Trends will make, you know, we could it, like hypothetically, I, I don't know what I could say since we're like a public company, but like there, there's probably a world where Trends makes 20 to $30 million a year in a very short amount of time. That's pretty awesome. And subscription revenue. Yeah. What would you suggest for growing a podcast? What, what have you noticed? It's so hard. I think there's really only two or three ways that you can do it. The number one way is by being a guest on other people's podcasts. The number two way <laughs> is by buying ads on other people's podcasts. Being a guest, you're basically just, it's a free ad and more in depth. If, if, you, if you can't do that, then you got to buy ads on that podcast. So we're buying ads. So you, have you heard of uh, We Study Billionaires? No. It's like a really popular business podcast. We're buying ads on that and it works. And then the third one is um, just using our daily email. But really those two are the only two growth methods I've ever seen work. You know, it's funny. So- well, in the third, well, there's a fourth one, which is like be Joe Rogan or like be Caller Daddy and just be like exceptional and outlandish and like different. But that's like really, I can't, that's not really good advice. Yeah. Well, we have a buddy, uh, Noah Kagan, and he has a podcast first and then he started a YouTube channel. And it seemed a lot easier to grow the podcast but what he said was interesting he's like it's good for someone with an audience already it's hard to build a podcast audience dude it's so hard youtube naturally kind of spreads 
your message. Whereas a podcast, it's like only your audience listens and no one really finds it. Yeah. The, and like technically like a lot of YouTubers are podcasters. So like Logan Paul has the Logan Paul podcast on YouTube, but having that daily cadence where you're in someone's ear for 45 minutes is pretty nutty. Like I get recognized on the street by my voice. So like there's, it happens on a weekly basis. Someone will say, all right, are you Sam? I go, yeah, what's going on? And he goes, man, I'm like, I have you in my voice for four hours a week. And they'll say like, and they'll make a comment like, yeah, cause you know, Sam, you don't like X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, I don't. And he's like, yeah, you said it in this time. And I like, I talk so much. I don't remember that, but it's crazy that these people like get to know you like through that podcast. Are they surprised how ugly you are? <sighs> Okay. I think they oftentimes they they're like I didn't realize that you were gonna be this tall or this big. I thought you were you're pretty big. <laughs> but they say um, I thought that you were just gonna be like a little dork. You do look like a French boy on HGH. Well, I, mean, that's, yeah. <laughs> I am that testosterone. But they 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 tell me they go. I always switched you and Sean because you have like a high pitched nerd voice, but you look like a bro, and he's got a low pitched uh, bro voice, but he looks like a nerd. And I'm like, oh, thanks. Sean's big too. I don't know, like the same size. He's yeah, big. but he's not athletic looking. Uh, he's getting there. He's getting better. He is. And he is tall too. He's 6'2 as well. And he's thick. Yeah, he's pretty big. Would y'all say like by volume, y'all are probably the largest podcast out there? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, right? All right. Uh, yeah, by weight, y'all definitely are uh, definitely the highest. <laughs>